Hi everybody, all my followers, welcome to another video. So the video today is on a 2005 Mercedes S-Class, as you can see. Uh, this car is a rather interesting story. Uh, the owner of this car has been asking me to have a look at this car pretty much for about six months. Well, actually more than that. Uh, I don't know when this video is going to go live, but uh, today uh, is the beginning of July, uh, sorry, June. Today is 12th of June. Um, and uh, the guy has been asking me since last year, to be honest with you. So, way over six months. Uh, the guy didn't manage to get this sorted yet. And uh, just now, believe me or not, uh, I managed to get the time to get the car here. Um, so, the issues with the car is two issues. Uh, I don't know if they are related, I don't think they are. Uh, but, uh, right, one issue is uh, EPC light that comes on. I will show you in a second. Actually, I don't need to get the engine running because the guy just replaced... Um, the guy just replaced a sensor for the oil temperature, I think it was because he said it was reading the wrong temperature. Um, I showed the guy, if I recall correctly guys, I might be lying now, because I remember the guy came here and it was a fault for the sensor. When I scanned the car a few months back, it was a fault for the sensor, for the oil temperature sensor or something like that, but the temperature was reading fine. And the guy said on his machine it was showing 300 degrees or something like that. But at the time I plugged in the star machine and was showing absolutely fine. So I still don't know why he went to replace the sensor. I, I, don't, I don't know, but I know because I've noticed there is a massive oil leak, leak coming from somewhere where the sensor is. So I don't want to have the car running. I uh, will have to do all this work. I'll try to get this done just by plug the charger. Uh, the battery charger um, and the guy will have to resolve that that's I'm not being asked to look at that anyway but one of the faults is actually here I will show you the fault ah oh, come on so one is that one then you have another fault for the brake pads but no worry with that so one fault is that uh, the guy replaced four injectors um, two are still the original, or he replaced. No, I think he replaced four. Uh, I might need to verify this with the guy, but I, I know for a fact two injectors that are different from the other four. So this is a 320, is a inline six cylinders. So that's one problem. We'll tackle that probably on another video. The video here today, uh, what I'm gonna try to figure out is what is wrong with the, the wipers. So the wipers they didn't work. From the stalker the guy replaced this stalker thinking this was the problem uh, and obviously he was not so what they did to get the wipers going was they run two wires coming from the engine they put a switch in here I'm going to show you when I turn this on I have that dismantled but that runs in there yeah So, what they did, I will show you. So, this is what they did. I tried to do this with that. Oh. So, there's two wires here on this cable. One goes back straight to ground. The other one goes somewhere inside this box, getting the 12 volts, then goes inside and the switch just switch the 12 volts into the into here. So when you switch inside, this just runs constantly, okay? So that's what they did to keep it going. Another thing that I know the guy did, tried to fix this problem, was he replaced both SEMs. So this car does have two SAMs, one on this side, uh, one on that side. He replaced both of the SAMs. I remember the guy saying something that when he would uh, 
nobody would turn this on. You mentioned something about the, the headlights. I can't even remember properly. Um, but uh, when I catch up with him, I, I will update you if he's related to this wiper problem because that's what this video is going to be about. So he replaced the Sams. Uh, it didn't work. He put everything back uh, original. So the car is all original, obviously, apart from this wire going there and the, 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 the switch. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to try to figure out uh, why uh, why is that the wipers, they don't work from here. That's what I'm going to do. First thing I'm going to do, take all these uh, off. I want to put everything the way it should be. And then, yes, we're going to try to um, to understand exactly why it's wrong. Okay, and first thing, I'm going to get rid of this uh, wires they put in here. For now, I'm just going to get them in here, get rid of this. But later on, I might get rid of this crappy solder they put in here and stuff. So, yeah. Um, it's going to unplug this. It's going to take the module completely out of here, out of the way. Okay, so I'm just going to rip this cable off. And the first thing, like I said, looking at the loom, you know how good you're gonna see but it looks like this it goes that way as I said earlier so we're gonna trace the wires see where they go and make sure they are all good okay and just looking at this I think it's crazy to see where they came in so as you can see we have a yellow a green brown and red and look we at what we have here on this plug a yellow green black and red so it comes right here and we're just gonna unplug this there it is and let's gonna measure from here to there make sure it's okay and let's gonna check the wires so yellow wire 0 0.4 ohm 0 0.6 that's fine let's check the green wire now oh my gosh this guy is so white 0.2 Let's check the brown. Oh, come on Check the brown wire now Brown 0.2 and finally the red 0.2 okay wires all good so we don't have a wire problem Wires are good the wires are good. I think the next thing I'm gonna do is actually plug the diagnostics and uh, see if that tell us anything. Um, actually, before that, let me see which relay. Let me check the relays, fuses. Start with the basics. Uh, but I'm gonna plug the uh, the star machine. Uh, the, the only reason why I'm going to plug the star machine is because the Maxi C is, is charging at the moment and I can't use it for now. So I'll just use the star machine which will give me a little bit of more info as well um, and we'll go from there. Okay guys, so when I plug everything back on as it should be and Wow, that's a little bit weird. Why would do this? Because uh, the plug was plugged in before and was not doing this. Okay, let me show you why it does. So now I have an airbag light on. I want you to see what happens when I plug it in. So now it's okay, but look when I try to activate the wipers, oh, let's see if he does it again. Okay, can you hear this? The motor is 
kind of try to run. And here, I have this noise. That I don't want to damage nothing, so I really don't know what's going on here. And here I get all these. Look at that. And now the motor is trying to come back to its position. And obviously, let me unplug that again. As soon as I unplugged it, it stops. So, why do I think there is a problem with this actuator here? With this uh, motor? Mm. Mm -hmm. That's weird. Okay, let's gonna try to run a scan and just see if there's anything there, but I start to have a feeling that's gonna be that uh, that motor in there okay and bloody hell you can't really see nothing can you okay surprisingly surprisingly there's only a few modules with faults it's not bad we have the common rail we know we have a EPC in there we have electronics stability control and we have the airbag with faults uh, and then we have the as, as I scroll this down gonna see I have the front left sum which is the sum that controls the wipers so it makes sense and then we have faults on the CD changer and navigation not really worried with that so let's kind of go uh, to this sum here And let's gonna see what we have in there. Okay, so we have loads of faults stored uh, for lamps. Probably they have been unplugged by the last people working on it, and has never been cleared. But uh, so, wow. So we have loads of faults here, but we have, let, let, let me do something here. So there's, for the wipers we have one here, yeah? Component M6-1 uh, uh, wiper motor is not within the park position. Current and stored. Uh, it's unplugged at the moment, uh, but uh, it's the only thing, everything else is stored. With all that clicking going around uh, on the SAM, uh, I really don't know what is causing, if these faults are caused by that issue or if it's caused because someone has been working and unplugging stuff before. Uh, I think we're going to do this. Clear the faults. Let's gonna read the fault again. Okay, so we have the same, uh, the motor, but the motor is not connected, which obviously makes sense. The voltage is a little bit low. I'm gonna have to put the battery maintainer on position two, because obviously it's not coping with what it is doing. Oh. So let's kind of change that to position two. That should do now. Oh yes it does. 12.7, so it's better like that. Okay, so... You know what I'm gonna do guys? I'm gonna open that uh, wiper motor. Uh, well, I will show you. And what I'm going to remove is this here. I want to see what's inside here. Uh, as well as that, fixing the vacuum clean to the missus. So that's what I'm going to open. But before that, just hold a second. Okay, a quick check. And uh, everything looks pretty good. 
I'm just gonna pull these two uh, new tabs here to make sure they make good pressure on these. Sorry guys, on this area here. There's a little bit burn in there. So I'll just make pull it this way so they make a better pressure. Uh, make sure this tab here, this plate is make a good ground into this because that's what is going to take is ground and when the, the inside grounds the other pin it sends the signal back through the yellow wire okay that's how it works okay what I'm gonna do here now is I'm gonna make sure the circuit well we checked already for continuity and the wires everything is good I remove all those relays because the sun was just going crazy so everything is connected as normal over there and what I'm going to do here is Hopefully you'll be able to hear. So I have, I'm back probing the signal wire. So basically it should short or it should give me a ground. Uh, actually if I go... So at the moment is in the park position, so we short it. So if I put voltage onto these two wires here. I don't know if you can hear the beep every time because it's a little bit quick not always the multimeter picks it up but it's picking it up every now and then it's picking it up I can see in there on the graphic side of things it's picking it up okay okay so it's working fine now what uh, I should get on my um, on my uh, yellow wire as well is a ground because as you've seen when we have that open that's actually grounded so that's what we should get here uh, but it doesn't really matter all it matters for now is that is actually doing what it's supposed to be doing so at the moment uh, we have a relay problem and um, I doubt they didn't check the relay so what, what I want to see now is uh, I could just check in there really which relay is which um, I found some of the relays a little bit with some corrosion like that. So am I might gonna get my uh, relay tester and make sure they are all working fine. I'm just testing the first one. Then it's okay. Uh, I doubt it's gonna be these. I mean, surely they would have checked this before. Okay, we're gonna do all of them and then we'll see what we're gonna do next. Okay guys, so I was doing this wrong. Should have got diagrams, why well, I don't get the good diagrams. Um, okay, so the ground, um, the ground comes, so the, the, the ground is, the motor gets to the ground when it gets obviously to the, to the body, when it, it touches the body. So the frame gets the ground. Then, these two wires which I was putting power earlier, they are actually the two speeds. So we have speed one, then I'm gonna hear the motor. Well, my wire just came out, hang on. Sorry about that guys. No, it's not perfect. So, speed one. I don't know if you can see it. I'm gonna put it to, hang on guys. Oh. Okay, so I'm um, I'm grounding the the frame with a cable in there. So we have speed one. And now, if I put on the red wire, you have speed two. And obviously, the brown wire is ground. The brown wire does have ground here now. So if I put the multimeter here so you can see it. So if I measure from the brown wire to my 12 volts, I have ground in there. So I can even do this. You're gonna see that we have ground. OK. 
okay and my other wire which is the yellow wire is my signal wire which is grounded every time okay, you see the multimeter is just not quick enough but you can see every time those two plates goes through that area that is common obviously grounds and it sends a signal back to the sim now over here if I measure I'm gonna put this with the beep so you can actually hear If I measure my red wire, my red wire comes to this first relay here. No, it's there. Oh, measuring the wrong place. So from here, pin number four comes to here, to this relay here. You're not really see it, but it's one of the contacts. It's a five pin relay. And pin number three comes to the other contact of my relay. But now I need to figure out what actually which one actuates because then you have an on off position. So this is going to be common to that one. Just on a second. So the H, so this is the on off position. Okay. It's coming to there. Exactly. Why I think it's something inside this um, mm. so if I put these two relays here Let's see what happens. And guys, as soon as I put those relays, look at that. Is as soon as I put them in, let me see which one actually is doing the damage. Or, see, it's not gonna be the speed one. It's gonna be the other one. I'm sure it's gonna be the other one. See if I take the on off. Should be able to put all the other ones back in. Okay, I left the relay. That is basically the on off relay for the wiper system. And everything is good. Obviously we have that. Now let's let's try to do the opposite. So if I take this relay from here and I put it here. Everything's okay. So everything happens when I actually try to run the motor. Mm. 
Now if I put the other one. There we go. Oh dear. We opened the sem. Um, I haven't showed you how to get to here, but then I will show you to put it back on. And obviously, it's just the reverse. Um, and there is some signs of moisture right there. And on this side, there is a little bit more. Now, the weird thing is, the guy said that he got another sem in here, and he did exactly the same. So it might be that he got another sem with the same problem. Let me do a quick in visual inspection and see what we find. Okay, now before I go anywhere, I've checked the control side of my relays. And from here, from the control side, it comes one relay to here, one relay to there. Okay, and now, on this board here, I will mark the same pins, so I can know which circuit I need to follow. Okay. On this side means that one, and that one in there. And now I just need to follow the circuit and try to understand what's going on. Okay, guys. So after the last clip, um, uh, I've cleaned the sem. Um, I didn't even reflow because after cleaning I could see everything was actually quite good with just a little bit of sort of you know corrosion that sort of moisture uh, mold start to build up but uh, once cleaned was absolutely fine uh, put everything back on and obviously the problem is still there now at this point and well I was already checking more than the basics obviously but at this point I had to stop uh, and this is actually and advice as well uh, when you check the basics and more than the basics as I was doing already and you, you are just going nowhere just stop and 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 you need to stop back up and start to do things in a more organized way uh, so I start to think and I start to think the system, what I was doing, and that click inside the car as well at the same time was a little bit weird. I could not understand why I was doing the click at the same time on the SEM, clicking the relays, and inside. Now, to me, it was like if the relays... Well, I, I couldn't understand at this point if it was the control side that was actually doing that. Um, which most likely would be obviously, but the reason is it was the same that was actually pulsing the relays or was something else. Now, at this point, I just thought I need to check some diagrams, which I did. So I came here and I start to follow diagrams and stuff like that. And I have it on this screen here because what I wanted to see is uh, K46, K40 slash 6 is the relay. So K40 slash 6 KG. So K40 slash 6 KG is this one right here. KG. So is wiper stage 1 and 2. Okay. And the, the feed to the coil. So this relay, so this side here is going to be the control side, 85, and that's going to be the power feed. How do I know? 
because we have terminal 15 R over here and I want to understand now I'm going to show you anyway but you're going to see that here this is the sum itself so all this diagram is for, is for the sum this is plug C1 pin 2 pin 1 we have uh, terminal 15 on C2 uh, C1 pin 2 we should have terminal 15 R okay now we're gonna go on the car so we should pretty much have with ignition on we should have voltage on these two pins okay and I want to show you something okay so right under the sim you have these three plugs right here at the back and I don't know if you're gonna be able to read right there at the top C1 and we have been one and two I'm going to show you if I unplug it there we go so pin come on pin one and two so pin one is the pink wire pin two is the black wire and what I'm gonna what I want to show you as well is You, you will understand why I'm taking this into bits. Where's the key? It's in my pocket. So... As you can see, nothing... ...works. And we're gonna see that. Why is not doing it now? He must be kidding me. He must be kidding me. Ah. Okay, so when I turn the ignition on used to do it just by turning the ignition if you guys remember but when I turn it on that's because the wipers are in the park position now so here we have the clicking okay and on pin 1 if you remember the pink wire we have 12 volts on pin number two the black wire look what we have you see what we have that should be voltage constant now I'm going to show you if I do the following hang on a second okay because I want you to see these happening live look what happens when I feed 12 volts from pin one into pin two. Okay. And now that's because they are on, as if you remember. And now if I take, if I turn them off, so speed one, off. So, speed two, off, and they go to park position, and that's it. You are watching them, yeah? Yeah. So, if I take that wire again... It's okay now, because we are now asking for the wipers to work. So, as you can see, there's no clicking. But look, as soon as I ask... For the wipers to run. First, they are not going to run, as you've seen. And there we have, here we have these again. So, 
it's clear to me that terminal 15 uh, R is not getting there now from the diagrams these I can tell you 15 R comes to here okay comes straight to here uh, and that also um, explains the noise that was coming from here so we're gonna take the the module off and we're gonna try to see what's wrong with it and uh, here is my pink wire come on and my black and yellow that's in there at the end black and yellow is pin two it was I think it was and pin one the other one so this is my two wires this is full of sort of oil whatever this is not really sure uh, we still there it is okay so let's gonna open this and see what we can find in here because we still maybe have a problem on the feed here actually I can measure the feed to see if we have feed on these two I believe they should be battery voltage let's gonna have a look okay so I'm taking the ground from the small uh, plug that goes into the e ES and uh, I just wanna check the feed now I'm gonna show you all this at the same time I don't think I can't hang on maybe okay so let's gonna check so the the outer pins if you remember is my black and my pink so is the ones that go straight into the sum the middle ones are gonna be uh, battery voltage there you go 12.49 12.49 so we have the feeds into the ECS so it's just the uh, blah, the EES that is not switching them uh, over properly so let's go and open this and see what we can do Okay guys, and to open this uh, is only a few tabs all the way around or some clip hints so you just open this slightly and you are left with this and now I'm gonna have to figure out how to pull this out uh, okay it's full of oil inside Okay, right, we're gonna have to, this, so the pins are here, and we know the middle pins is the 12 volts feed, the, out, the outer ones are the, uh, blah, are the ones, I can't remember now which one was the 15 and 15 are, but is the, the outer ones, one of them is when I'm making contact, uh, so we're gonna have to get to the bottom of this, but I think I need... To remove these boards there's some stuff I'm gonna have to disorder uh, actually actually it looks like I only need I only need to disorder the antenna, which is this three pins right here. Let's gonna take this out and 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 then try to open this. Okay, so there are there is actually a little bit more that I need to disorder. Um, obviously, I've disordered the antenna, these three pins here, but you also need to disorder the solenoid. Okay, there's three pins, and these these basically just folds around there, and these just opens like that and here is my contacts very easy to, to understand but if I can see what I'm showing you so here is my contacts so we have the outer pins is obviously my voltage feeds sorry my uh, is my connections that goes into the SEM the inner ones are the are the voltage feeds and I don't know how good you're gonna see it 
I don't know how good the camera is going to capture this, but if you look careful to the one on this side, I can't, it's not going to show you guys. Where am I? I'm here. Uh, maybe if you focus. Can you see it all burned? Can you see this part here? It's completely burned. I'm going to show you that one. And now I want to show you that one. Focus. Can you see that one? Compared with the other one. So this is just what, ha what happens. So when you put the key and you start to turn the key, this just starts to pull away. And obviously uh, makes contact in here. And this is just a poor contact on, on, on one of this. So I'm gonna clean this properly, scrape uh, scrape any carbon buildup, and like I always do, we're gonna push this a little bit, uh, push these plates a little bit, so when they come in contact together, they make a little bit more pressure, so we make sure we have a good contact. Okay, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, and I start to put everything back together. I just need to solder those uh, Five, six points again. I've just uh, lift the lever in there uh, of the solenoid so I can rotate the key. Just spin here. Make sure I lubricate a little bit of the cam inside. Uh, someone has been spraying oil on this, definitely. But okay, so I lubricate that a little bit, uh, and it, it seems fine. I haven't measured the contact here, but I'm pretty sure it's good now. So I've cleaned those uh, sort of. Uh, contact points um, bend a little bit to make more pressure and uh, and yeah let's gonna I'm gonna solder this put it all together and let's gonna put it on the car see if we have the problem fixed okay and uh, we just put everything back on and uh, let's gonna put this into position one and look at that no more flickering position two Okay, we still have the airbag until we clear the fault, but all I want to see... So I put the SAM everything back, back on properly. I just want to see what happened with the wipers now when I turn them on. And look at that. Speed 2. Speed 1. And then the first one, which is the sensor, rain sensor, off. Speed 2, lovely, look at this, and uh, I'm actually now wondering if the EPC was not also, was not else, bro, was not also to do with this, uh, uh, related to this, uh, am I gonna put this, start the engine and see what happens, uh, see if that EPC light comes on. Okay guys, so as you probably just seen, the EPC light, come on, is still coming on, there we go, uh, we still have the airbag that we need to clear the codes, so we'll do that later, but the EPC light is still coming on, alongside with the, uh, that uh, glow plug light, uh, I don't think they are related, I think that's just to do with some uh, faulty glow plugs, that EPC, I don't know yet. Uh, but as I said at the beginning, that would be for another video anyway. This video is for the wipers. Um, as you have seen, they are working just fine. Um, and I think uh, that's it. It was quite interesting, the fact that uh, all these was caused actually by the, the electronic steering lock, ESL. Um, I know the proper repair would be a new one, but you know, I don't often uh, do that I do repair rather than replace guys um, just uh, just uh, just really uh, uh, a quick note um, don't waste your time when you check the basics um, diagrams I had to check the diagrams I had to see uh, exactly what would feed the wipers as soon as I seen the wipers were fed by that uh, wire there 
on the diagrams I traced why I've seen why you would come to here and and obviously now makes sense all that uh, clicking around here as well when that was uh, flickering and, 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 and all and all that stuff happening so that's it really for this video guys um, hope there's some information here that you guys are gonna find interesting and useful um, hope you enjoyed the video any questions any comments you know how it works put them below check my patreon if you want more in-depth answers or help and like always guys thanks for watching